Hi, and welcome to the cPanel In-Depth video series. In this video series, I'll be talking about cPanel. And the only thing that you're going to need is access to a cPanel web hosting panel. cPanel, if you don't know, is the most popular web hosting panel. So what I'm talking about is when you buy web hosting, for example, cPanel is what you have access to so you can control different parts of your website. Now, different areas of cPanel are not shown in depth. You may already know how to do the simple things like how to create a MySQL database, but you might not know how to do other things with the database. Or you might understand simple things, but I'm going to teach you how to take one step further and use cPanel to your full ability. At the same time, I'm coming at an angle so you don't have to know anything about cPanel right now. But if you do, then great, you're going to still learn something. So right now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the topics that I'll be going over in this video series. Okay, so as you can see here, I am going to do about 10 videos in the video series, but I'm also going to go one step further and add three bonus videos. Now these three bonus videos deal specifically with people who rent a dedicated server, such as how to move files from one server to another and things like that. So you're going to have to have access to the WHM, which is the web hosting manager area of the cPanel. If you're having basic shared hosting, then most of all, you will only need these top 10. But if you rent a server like me and or you want to rent a server in the future and you want to know how to move files from one server to another, which is what I found to be the biggest thing for me and for many other people that rent dedicated servers, then that's great. So this video series is all about fulfilling your needs, whether you run a dedicated server or whether you rent a shared hosting account. So with that said, number one, the first video I'll be talking about how to use video tutorials feature provided in cPanel. Did you know that cPanel offers many video tutorials on the basic stuff, like how to create autoresponders, how to create you know, a mail account, which is not what I'm pretty much going to go over today. My goal here is to go over areas of cPanel that may not be covered by other video tutorials. So we'll go over that in number one. Number two, I'll talk about how to create a MySQL database and insert a table into MySQL databases using PHP MyAdmin. So the question is, why would you ever want to do that? Well, there are many simple reasons why you would want to access the PHP MyAdmin area. Basically, without the technical jargon, all that means is an area where you can change little numbers which would change the statistics or change the numbers in the specific script that you're using. And I'll actually talk about reasons why you would actually need to use that in video two. Number three, we'll talk about how to use AW Stats, an explanation on what features are available in AW Stats and we'll talk about Webalizer. If you don't know, AW Stats allows you to, for example, see what people are typing in the search engines to find you. So you can get keywords and you can even take those keywords and use it for Google AdWords and expand on that. So AW Stats is more of a great tool as far as website traffic understanding. So understanding what kind of traffic are coming to your site, what kind of websites are linking to your site so that you can improve yourself and improve your site. Number four, I'll talk about what is Fantasco and how to use it. Number five, we'll talk about how to set up an error page, a 404 page. Let's say for example that I go to www.yourdomain.com and the only problem is I type in the wrong HTML page and I want to get to the right HTML page. Well, you could set up 404 or error pages simply 
to solve that. And number six, I'll talk about security, how to disable the index system using the index manager so people can't snoop around your website, especially for your downloadable goodies. And the reason why you would want to use number six, the index manager is so, let's say for example that you created a sales funnel and your area is not protected and it happens to be under a folder. What people could do is do a brute force, which means they guess and guess and guess. And if they find your folder, they probably could find the information or the downloadable goodies within your folder. So the index manager really helps with that. And of course, in number seven, I'll talk about what is a cron job and when you really need to use it. Video eight, we'll talk about how to use file manager. In fact, many of you, if you hear the word FTP, you might run the other way because, or you just don't understand FTP or you just are uncomfortable. If that's the case, or even if you do use FTP, I recommend using file manager. I, in fact, I use file manager all the time, mainly because it makes life just a lot more easier. And I'll show you that in that video. And number nine, we'll talk about email authentication. And number 10, we'll talk about how to back up your websites and how to restore them. Backing up your websites are very important and it's something that a lot of people overlook. And when something bad happens to your website or your host suspends your website, then you can't restore them and you always need a backup plan. And of course, for people who ran a dedicated server and have access to the web hosting manager area of cPanel, which most of you would probably not have access to this area unless you rent your own virtual server or dedicated server. I'll be including these three bonuses on talking about how to move files from one server to another. This feature is very, very convenient because when I move files from one server to another, I used to download them and upload them to another server. But with cPanel's feature, all you have to do is click a few buttons, move it one, from one server to another, walk away for an hour, come back, and change the DNS servers, and you're good to go. Now, that might not make any sense to you right now, but if you watch the videos, that will make more sense. Of course, in bonus two, I'll talk about how to block people or their IP addresses from your server like hackers and things like that. And bonus three, we'll talk about turning on your SPF to protect your email from spam. Now you can enable this in the number nine area on the cPanel side, but you do need to enable that on your dedicated server side if you have a dedicated server. And all of this will make more sense when you actually view the videos. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And remember, the only thing that you really need is access to a cPanel. You don't need to buy any fancy tools or anything like that. Because cPanel, if you got it, then you got it. And of course, before we get started, what I want to do is log into my cPanel. And if I am at yahoo.com right now, so if I go to www.instantprivatelabelvideos.com slash cPanel, press enter, and I go and type in the username and password, and after that we go ahead and press OK, and there we go. So th this is cPanel that we're looking at right now, and I'll move it up so you can see it better. And what I'll be doing is basically going over this side. Here. 